all right good evening good afternoon good morning and welcome to the stream i knew i wasn't going to leave enough time for the game to start so i did not start the words on stream because i wanted to get into this i wanted to get some factorio going so uh let me check audio make sure we're good live happening you know boisterous whatever sounds good sounds good sounds good all right let's switch over to the game yes factorio it's been a few weeks. Um, I have two resource issues. At the factory, I don't have enough plastic. And then, um, hang on one sec. Huh. Um, and then I don't have enough solid fuel at the rocket facility. So there's that. Got any updates? We got no more updates. That's cool. All right. So let's launch this. Take a swig of a dooski. So I got to fix the plastic over here. See? No plastic. Um, The train that delivers the plastic drops it off. Hey, Orion. Good morning. How the heck are you? So we have three, oh, we have three trains, but only two plastic collection areas. So I need to make a third one. All right, so that, that should be pretty straightforward. Um, okay, that's going to bug me. Where's the concrete at? Oh, it's right here. Um, all right, so let me, let me do this. Whoa, hit the wrong key. And let's just fill that in. All right. Doing great. How the heck are you today? <clears throat> um, I'm feeling good. I, uh, I got my third DIY video out. It's not great. You know, I'm still learning the process. It's a lot harder than sitting down, talking to a webcam, and then just uploading the video. Because this one... Uh, I think I've come up with a, a better process because I was just setting up, I have a GoPro, here it is. Um, I have a GoPro, I just put it on a tripod and I press play. And it's got me walking around and stuff. So I have to go and edit out all the stuff that no one wants to watch. And that takes a lot of time, a ton of time. So I said, you know what? I've got an app. So it's what I could do is I could press record do the thing and then stop it and then that will save me a lot of edit time so but unfortunately i have one two other videos that i call to edit so this all right so plastic we need to get some oil now this solar panel is for the rocket facility right um um that's the rockets yeah so okay so if the factory, however, so this stone is actually working off this grid. Oh, that's interesting. So anyways, I'm, I'm, I'm struggling with uh, editing on the DIY stuff. I'll get better eventually. So I, I guess I need to add, can I, oh, wait. Do I? I can. Oh, cool. All right. So is what we're doing is we're going to add some more panels, get some more power. And then we need to find some oil. Oh, not that. No. 6,000. That's pretty good, actually, unless there's a... 
9,000. Oh, and it's right here. Ooh. All right, and we could, uh, all right, and then not that far. All right, Earl. My name is Earl. <laughs> all right, so first of all, let's get some, um, some power going here. So I should be able to copy. And then paste. All right, so I'm I'm in the middle. Um, this needs to go like this. Got to find their Earl. I have never heard that phrase before. All right. So we plopped down some stuff to do, but it looks like... Um, all right. Looks like I need to take a ride over there. All right. I have a train that's set up with stuff. So let's get that going here real quick. We need to add station, um, this one. We wanna wait for empty cargo. All right, so let's go over there and make sure everything's gonna work. How's pollution doing? Oh, we're doing good. All right, now I saw the workers heading out. Dang it. <laughs> oh, geez. All right, so first of all, put you on manual and we're gonna upgrade all this stuff. need to post um, radar so I can see what the heck's going on over here. There. How's the factory? Uh, Team McIntyre. You like those? Yeah, I, I, I finally moved into the science, the space science. So we've got them upgraded to uh, 12, I guess. So... It helps. We're trying to expand our power a little bit for the factory because we're gonna add some more stuff to it. And I wanna make sure that, you know, nothing breaks. All right, I think, I think they got everything they need. Oops. All right, so. Um, let's see here, let's do this. We don't need this here. But we can put all this stuff Um, there, and there. Right, cool. All right, I think we're good. You got fuel? You got fuel, all right, let's just head back to home. And then we're gonna go set up a new oil refinery just for plastic. Plastic needs coal too, right? Is that right? Plastic, yes, needs coal, all right. All right, all right. Hey, 
I'm... Monkey! I can't pronounce it right, can I? Silent Storm, how you doing? Man, thank you so much for the raid. I got it right, Monkey! <laughs> I, I keep calling him Mookie, but it's not, it's Mucky. It's like yucky, but I don't want to say that. That sounds really mean. Mucky, thank you so much for the raid and everyone coming over from Mucky, welcome. I'm Gamer Circle, AKA Andy Wood. I love playing Factorio, but I'm not very good at it, all right? I don't know all the, uh, how do you say, the intricacies, because I don't play it that, that much. He, pl he prefers murky? Ooh, that sounds like really stealthy, you know? <laughs> oh, geez. Oh, I did something wrong. I'm still on the train. I'm still on the train. See, I told you I don't play this game. Anymore. All right, there we go. Ignore them all. <laughs> I can't. All right, I will. You tell me to, I will. You're the boss. Oh, man, how the heck are you doing? It's Friday. Hope everyone has good plans for their weekends. Oh, it's going great. I uh, I have to. I have jury duty on Monday, but Sunday I have to call to see if I actually have it. So I I, I can't have a great Monday because uh, you can't take any electronic devices with you. So I can't sit there and surf the internet. So I have to take. I have a stack of comic books I'm going to take with me. So I'll be. Probably the only 60 year old there that's got a stack of comic books. So I'm looking forward to it. All right, so here's a nice chunk of oil with coal right next to it. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna do something anyway. So we gotta get some train out to it. I guess we can just bring, then we need water too. Is that water? Really? I don't think so. Probably is. All right, so let's gather up the stuff we need before we head out. So we got a, we got some resource problems. I got a plastic shortage here. And then at my silos, my rocket silos, I have a solid fuel shortage. So yeah, otherwise I'm doing great. Uh, it's getting close to Thanksgiving here in the US. So if you're not in the US, um, this really doesn't apply to you. So it's gonna be the first Thanksgiving we hosted. So we have a couple of things we have to do on the outside of the house. Um, we have to get the leaf for the table I have to fix one more chair. Um, then we have to clean up some of the rooms. We have storage bins, so we can put all the stuff in the storage bins temporarily. So, yeah. Oh. Uh, and I've decided, I've volunteered myself to make, from scratch, mashed potatoes, which doesn't sound hard to do, but uh, I would say probably about a year and a half ago, Alex and I followed, I think it was called Sam the Cook Guy on how he made mashed potatoes. There was a little bit of effort involved, but man, they were so good. And it was just, you boil your potatoes, you wait till they cool, you mash them with a, a, a potato, uh, what do you call it, a rice, um, rice press, a potato press. So it looks like a big, looks like a great big, um, uh, um, um, garlic press, I guess it is, but you put your potatoes in there and you press them and squeeze them out and you mix some butter and a little bit of garlic. Oh man, it was so good. Yes. Not hard to do, but yet you, if you do it right, thank you. I will attempt to do it right. All right. So we need to get a refinery for plastic. All right, here's the one. So I need, um, Three refineries. Can I make three refineries? I can. And I need 17 of these. Five, 10, 15, 16, 17. All right, hang on. Stop, stop, stop. All right. Oh, uh, we're gonna need some more pipe too. Yeah, all right, let's crank this up to say 250. Do that one up to 250 as well. Oh. 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 Um, let's see. Um, so I've been keeping myself very busy now that I've, I'm, I'm kind of getting into the swing of, I do my stream, I download my VOD, then I go out and record some DIY stuff. I download that stuff and then I edit. So the editing process for me is probably my slowest thing. We eat that almost every single day, mash them, 
egg bit, milk, butter. So I'm gonna have to find the recipe uh, that we did, but it, it was really, really good. Cause I'm used to my mom making mashed potatoes and she'd always have that weird curly iron looking thing that she would mash with. And there was always lumps. So, all right, we're gonna need some rail, some track. So let's bump this up to 15. Oh, not that much. Uh, we're gonna need to add a couple more trains. All right. So now let's see, what else do we need for this so-called plastic refinery? Um, I'll worry about that stuff later. I've got that. I Oh, I gotta make the rest of those. I, need, I got those. Hang on. Hang on. How many do I got? I got 10, so I need seven more. Uh, five, six, seven. All right, sweet. What else? Oop, one button. What else? I got those. I need nine, eight, and seven. Nine, <laughs> eight, and then seven. Wait, what was the seven for? I forgot. In my memory. <laughs> oh, that's what I thought. Five, six, seven. And then how many of those i need <clears throat> six and six all right all right but it's gonna be uh, like i said uh busy couple of weeks here i um i didn't film it but i did my first in, in the i'm trying to be a DIY w woodworker. So all the stuff I've been working on is putting together a workbench. Doesn't sound very hard, but if you've never done it before, it's a challenge. And I'm getting tired of dragging them around. So I added casters to them. The first time I added casters, it made it too tall. It added another six inches. So that made it too tall. So I took those casters off and tried the other ones, love them, added those to the table saw workbench. Um, and everything's working so far. So then what I, the, the next project is, like I said, I have these storage bins that I want to put up on, up in the rafters in sort of a, uh, an I-beam storage rack shelf thing. And I've got all this old lumber, not old, but all this reclaimed lumber from when we renovated the house. And I want to turn that into dimensional lumber. You know, I want to make my own two by four, which is not really a two by four, my own one by whatever, so I can do this. So, and again, you can watch someone on YouTube do it and go, oh, that's easy. But when you do it, you go, oh, it's not so easy. So I did my first test glue up. And so today after the stream, I'm gonna go in and pull off all the clamps and scrape some of the glue off. And then we're gonna try to get it all planed down and, and uh, see if I did it right. Um, what else do I need? Am I done? Do I have everything I need for this project? So, I'm looking forward to it. First of all, I need to go to blueprints here. Oh, that's right. So we need um, uh, five, six. All right. But. Mucky, thank you so much for the raid. Appreciate it. All right, so let's actually do something here. Like I said, I have a plastic shortage here. And I want to try to resolve that. So over here by this solar, we have a really nice healthy. So I'm going to extend this rail system out. Come down over here because I can drop drills for that. So I need some drills. Um... I don't want to do this. Say I need 200. Okay. Power poles, I got 100. Oh, we're going to need um, some logistics too. So let's request 
let's say 300 these guys. I'm probably not going to have enough room for all this. Oh. There you go. There's my 300. Alright, is there anything I can get rid of? Let's dial this down to, say, 50. Trying to make some room. I think I'm going to need everything else. All right, I got everything else. All right, cool. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, that off. Hmm. By the way, the jetpack mod, awesome. This is where we want to extend our track. Touch down. All right, so we're going to, uh, I'm using nanobots to uh, use termites on the um, trees. So I don't have to collect the lumber. Turn these guys on. Oh. Where do I want to go? I think we'll go through the stone and then come down. Oh no, we'll go through the uranium and come down. All right, there, there that's the plan. I'm stuck. I forgot pump jacks. Doggone it. How many do I need? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 26. Alright. Oh. Alright. Dang it. So let's see here. Um, what we'll do is we'll drag the oil down. Let's get that going.
All right, we're going to be here for a few minutes. Hey, Harvey, how the heck are you doing, man? Good morning, editor. Good morning, sir. I didn't bring enough pipe. My condolences on the possible jury duty. I know, I know. I, I've, uh, I'm not really looking forward to it because now I live in a smallish county. So even if I get selected, it may be less than a week. So I'll keep you guys posted. Then the um, the actual refinery is a plastic refinery. I got the letter when, God, this is probably, I would say 1990, I got a letter when I lived in Sacramento and I was still in the reserves and uh, the week they wanted me to go was a weekend I just got done doing two weeks. So I was able to get a letter from my commanding officer saying, he just came off of doing two weeks of active duty. Uh, please, I don't know what he said in the letter, but Hey, excuse me. It wasn't a hardship or anything. I just fired. All right, so hang on. We gotta make. All right, so that's filled up. Nice. All right. Oh, I gotta make um one of uh, those. That didn't work. All right. The oil is, that's water. There's the oil. All right, so. Right. The water is uh huh. way over there or way down there. Or right there. Really? I've never done that. Oh, that might work. Where is Oh, oh it's going to work. Wait. That's the water. And <sighs> All right, so those things are going to be firing off doing stuff, so we have to Oh, I had no idea that I had modules on me. Yikes. All right. 
Um. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we need to um make more of those and open up the reds. This will be the plastic. Then this is going to request. We're just going to say twelve hundred. Um. Coal. Spread that there. All right. So now, hey, look. Here's our coal. I think it should be easy enough to drag it that way. And we have one, two, three, four, five. So we'll do a five to four. Not that I really need that. Make it neater. Tidier. Let's uh, bring these out a little bit. Oops, too much. And we'll pick them up, stuff. All right, let's get some power. So then if I release these guys, there they go. All right, now I just got to get a train system in here. Um, and it sure would be nice if... Let's see here, if I do a... These... I don't think this is gonna fit. So let's back this up a sec. And let's take it down a more. Then let's try, so instead of putting it there, put it right here. You guys see the trailer for the next Ghostbusters movie? It looks pretty darn good. Not only does it have the crew from the afterlife, but it has Bill Murray, Dan Aykroyd, and um, um, I remember the other gent's name. That's terrible too. So now we need a loading. Nicely. All right, seems like we ran out of stuff. Can I make? Okay, let's make those. Some of those.
There we go. Excellent. All right. So now, believe it or not, we actually don't need all this stuff. Oh, in fact, wait a minute. Somewhere I am doing batteries or uh, there it is. That's what I want to copy. So we want to copy uh, to make it easy all the way down to the power pole. I can't see what I'm doing. Uh, yeah, okay. All right. So I'm going to get rid of all this. And then copy that. Wait, we don't need the plumbing off to the side. That was for something else. All right, so all we need is uh, one, two, three, four, 16 of those. Five, 10, 15, 16. These are requesting the wrong thing. Yep, that's what I thought. So we want to change this to plastic at 1200. All right, and then we can, uh, hang on, get rid of that. I need to make a couple of these. All right. Now, I think we're going to run into, yeah, so we have a petroleum prop problem. So we need to come down here with beacons and stuff. So where's the other uh, plastic guys at? Let's see, if I go here and click on that, we're looking for... That name, all right, so let's do one of those. If we put two per and then one, so I think if I click on this, one, two, three, four, we have five trains. So if I want to make sure I fill up all the stations, I need one, two, three, four more trains. So I have one waiting at the, so I need four more trains. All right, so let me, we fly back and get some more stuff. Let me turn this off. And we're going to fly back. We're going to pick up all the stuff, get it all, uh, put all the bling to it, you know? Man, playing Fallout 4 was so fun. I look forward to uh, returning to it. Because I've never played it from the Institute's point of view. So this is going to be different. New. I got some side quests I want to try out too. Oh, uh, yes. All right, here we go. Get back aboard here. Land. This on. That off. Turn that off. I don't need that. Oh, geez. What I did. Go. Need those. 
All right, so what I need to do is figure out. Hey, good morning, Saturn. How the heck are you doing? Uh, so if I go into my blueprints on the this thing, we need 49 of those. And 20, 30, 40, 50. Then, again, according to the blueprint, So thanks to archive.org, I have spent a week doubling my TVs on my Plex server. Oh, I would uh, very much like to see how they helped you out with that. Um, Cause you know, there, there's some shows I, I could watch just over and over and over. Um, and, and they're so cheesy, like uh, um, Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea, uh, the original Lost in Space, um, Get Smart. You know, I I had a trouble getting the Highlander TV series. Oh, the original Batman series, of course, yes. So, yes. All right, so what am I looking for? Oh, I'm looking on plastic. Oh, wait, no, 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 there. So we need 98 and 60. 90, oh yeah, with, uh, with uh, Bruce Lee. 98 and 60, 98 of these. It's 100, and then 60 of these. Which I don't think I need all of these. All right. I've got, um, I took my Babylon 5, um, Blu-rays and I ripped them and put them on my Plex server. Anita, I got a uh, last, not last Christmas, the Christmas before, uh, Alex got me the uh, Batman, the animated series, T you know, uh, the, the, the one with Mark Hamill, not the Batman, and uh, all on Blu-ray. So I need to put that on my Plex server too. All right, so. Oh, okay, all right. Oh, I see, you're using the plow. Oh, I got gotcha. you, I got gotcha. you, okay. Oh, all right, interesting. All right, so do I got everything I need? I've been restocked, I got that stuff, got that stuff. Oh no, so what I needed, okay, so hang on, let me think about this, hang on. Hang on, make sure I don't get hit by a train. So, okay, we got two there, we got two there, that's good. I need one more there, so that's one. And I need two, so three, so I need four more trains. All right, four more total trains. Nine times, four trains. So I've got two, hang on. I'm gonna do this wrong, but I need to do it right. Let's see here. Got those, got those, so I need one. Two. I need four more trains, all right. I got it right, I know how to count. And then five, six, seven, eight. All right, cool. I had to make a change into my Plex server, not illegal or anything like that, but when the internet is down, I couldn't access my Plex server. So there's a a thing you can do on Plex so it would stay local, and, and that works perfect. Because when you lose the internet, you still want to watch stuff. I still got like, um, I've got like, uh, I got Warehouse 13 on there, good show. Um, Eureka, I bought all those. Those are all really good shows to watch, I thought. Are we done? We get everything we needed? We did, okay, so let's turn that off. All right, let's go see if we can get this plastic rolling. Uh-oh. Might have a coal problem at the base now. Ugh. I think I know how to fix it. It's gonna be like spaghetti, but it should fix it. We wanna go this way now.
So hopefully I picked up enough stuff to do this. Oop. All right, here we go. Let's see what happens here. All right, good. Good. Excellent. All right. So we're having trouble keeping the petroleum going. Oh, 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 right, right. We were out of a uh, gotcha. All right, so now is there any way I can get one of those trains to come down here? I don't think so. So if I say you go that, you go do that. I think I'm just going to have to add trains myself. All right, why not? All right, so let's give him some fuel. And then you need to go uh, get refueled. Then we need to unload the plastic which is right there and I'm lost that should be right we're going to go refuel then we're going to Take the plastic, unload it, come back, pick up, repeat, rinse and repeat. All right. Then let's um just gonna wait until the trains come back hopefully they'll come back <sighs> yeah I um I left it where things would work but it's broken uh, the rocket facility, we don't get enough solid fuel to keep things going. At the factory, we don't have enough plastic to keep things going. So I just enabled another plastic refinery. And I don't know how that's doing on power. We added, or actually this is coming off the, uh, the rocket grid. All right. We got plenty of crude. I'm a little trouble hanging on to the petroleum though. Huh. Really? I need to get a, um, 
The only way I can do that, so let's see here. If I do um, this and say, like, I want to put it right here or right, All right let's put it right here. Because I can't see what's actually going on there. Hopefully by adding a radar there, I can see what's going on. I see plastic here. Yay. All right, that's good. Need to keep it going. Thank you. There we go. All right, now I can see what's going on. All right, let's see here. We have trains coming here. Hey, there's a train. All right, let's put you on manual. Add another train. Also, I have a small inkling to play some space engineers. I know after a while I'm going to get a little bored with it. But I miss building capital ships. And getting in big space battles. I'm lost. That's what we need all the plastic for, was to keep the reds going, feed the blues. Oh, containers are running out. <sighs> See, that one could still use another train waiting. Oh, uh, that's not good. Why is there those two trains? I'm guessing he was on the way when I added this one. Two, four, that one's still missing one. All right, that, that would be that one. Two, four, still one there. I guess that's all I can do for right now. Um, I have a coal problem I need to fix. Also, I need to get some fuel, which is right up here.
right, so this was coal or was it stone? No, that's the stone. All right, so this I can actually get rid of because it was just feeding into here. We don't need that. All right, so let me uh, get all this cleaned up. the only source of coal that I think is feeding the factory. Oh, all right. Well, I guess that's what they needed. I didn't want to put those there, but they're there now. Okie dokie. Okie dokie back here and return some stuff do, 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 do. what do I want to return okay so we have one <laughs> return we have two then seven all right let's get rid of drills all right anyways I was trying to answer my question about pole so that is the only full feed so we need to fix that. That's not gonna last. Now, fortunately, <laughs> way over here, I think is, yes, another coal. But what is this for? It's a really bad one. This is for, oh, for the plastic. So there must be a local plastic Right here. All right, so that coal is being dropped off here for the plastic factory here. All right. All right, so we can actually do this then. Um, we're going to clean this up. Hey, Torts, how you doing? Um, we are then going to drag it that way. All right, good. So we have one, two, three, four. So I need to go four to four to five. So let's pull this back a little bit. I'm doing fine. Just got home from work, preparing for the weekend. Wow. Nice. I, uh, I got a full calendar too. Um, being close to the holidays, one, two, three, four. So four to five. What are your big plans? What are you doing? <laughs> you tell me what you're doing right now, mister. Four. Five. Okay. This one gonna go off that way all right oh 
Oh, I got you. Got you, got you, got you. Well, um, let's see here. After I do my stream, I download the VOD, so I'll have something to upload tomorrow. So it'll be this stream. Um, after the stream, I'm gonna go in stupid ads. Sorry. All right. Do I need this one here? Oh, uh, yes I do. There. Uh, so I need to figure out. I. If I walk all the way across. Hang on one sec, let me concentrate here. So I can't, I have to go walking up this way. Oh wait, where's the, uh, there it is. Um, I think we're gonna have to do this. Ink. And I'll, I'll catch up here. Oh, uh, okay, fine. Oh, that's so messy, though. Oh, uh, all right, hang on. Oh, geez. Put it back. <laughs> all right, hang on a sec. There we go. Yay. Oh, boo. <laughs> boo. Yay. All right. All right. Sweet. All right, so that restores that, and then we can draw the coal from there for what we need it for. Um, oh yeah, so the, um, my plans, stream, download the VOD so I can upload it tomorrow. Then I'm gonna go out in the garage because I did my first glue up, as they say in the woodworking. So I took all this reclaimed lumber and I cut it up into slats. I recorded it, so that video will be coming as soon as I finish the leveler video. So I'm gonna go out there, take off the clamps, clean up the mess, scrape some of the excess glue off, and then I'm gonna send it through. I'm gonna see if it wobbles. If it's wobble, then I have to make a, a sled, a planer sled, I think. Yeah, I'll have to make a planer sled. And uh, all I'm trying to do is take scrap lumber and make my own dimensional lumber for whatever purpose I need. All right, so let's go up here and redo this. We have a little strip of, you know what? I could probably do this myself. So that's today and then Saturday, um, Alex, Alex Jr. and Alex's mother are going to go to a local craft fair that opens a, a um, is it difficult? What, the, the gluing? Not really. I mean, I, I, we'll have to see how it works. <laughs> Everything seems like it glued real good together, so I'm hoping I have a nice bottom layer that I can scrape stuff off and make sure it's as flat as possible and scrape the excess glue, because if, you can plane the glue, but you take a chance of that the glue could maybe gum up your planer a little bit, and that means you have to go in there and clean the blades, blah, 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 blah. Um, so hopefully, I can get myself, if I did this right, it should be two and a half inches by eight inch. So I'll have, you know, a nice chunk of wood, and then I can use a table saw and make it whatever I need. Now, it's not really long enough for my next project. I just wanted to see what I could do with this, but I'll be able to use it for something. All right, so if I put drills um, right here, there, and then if we put 
when I when I do it, I'll I'll document it better. Um, that didn't line up. There we go. That's better. Oh, hang on, I'll, uh, the process has been invented by other people, so I'm just taking what other people have done and do it. So I need to do a two to one. Oh, that's easy. So that's this. Then we want to bring this line. Oh, actually, no, what I want to do, oh, I did that one. So what I want to do is prioritize the input on the left side. Okay. There we go. All right, there we go. Um, yeah, there's a lot of people that now lumber prices, you know, were very expensive during the pandemic. They they skyrocketed for whatever reason or now they're starting to stabilize, but still lumber is expensive. So if you can take old even pallets, if you take pallets that a lot of people give away, you know, they just they get in stock and the pallet sits in the back, you drive by, you pick it up. There's ways to where people have a real science to where they pull the pallets apart, whether they pry them all, take out all the nails and there's various processes for that, or they just cut the streamers um, and then they get shorter pieces of wood. And what you can do is you can say like you need an, an eight foot board. So you, you, you make your eight feet and then you offset everything with the glue. So when you're gluing stuff together, it looks like it's a mess, but once it glues up and you've got your eight feet by four feet or whatever you need, Gluing process and you clean up the ends, you you plane the top and the bottom, and then you got lumber. And it was free, just your time. All right, so we fixed that. So now how's plastic doing? Um, actually. All right, guys, do your thing. There you go. I watched, uh, you know, and one of my curiosities is that people actually turn this pallet wood into very beautiful furniture, whether it's coffee tables, end tables, um, desks, whatever that is. And it's, it's, it's involved, it's a more involved process versus just going and buying some nice plywood, some laminated plywood, making cabinets or whatever you need because You've got to take lumber that's one dimension, glue it, you know, strip it, rip it down, glue it together, and then make your own lumber. So, but again, it's your time versus free wood, your time versus buying stuff. So, and then less time. So, all right, so how's plastic doing? Still not awesome. Thank for train. Oh, destination full. So you're just stuck here. All right, so wait a minute. If I send you to refuel, just full? Really? All right. So what is your next stop? Oh, pickup. All right, so the pickups are full. All right, that's fine. I got me a fresh dooski here. All right, so the pickup locations are full. So, and he's empty. Oh, that's fine. So if we go here, um, click on this guy and say, oh, wait, I'm causing a problem here. <laughs> if we send you to refuel, then let's go to this guy and say unload all right all 
I don't know if plastic is fixed for real. I think I have to take out one train. One, we got two waiting there. We got only one there, so there's room for one. One stuck at refueling. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, so all right, let's let's, let's let things settle down and see. In observation of Veterans Day, thank you for your service, Gamer Circle. Oh, thank you very much, FX. I appreciate that. Yeah, those who didn't know, I actually spent time in the armed forces. So he is waiting to go to a pickup. All right, so if I click on this, so I need to take a train out of the system. That's what I need to do. All right, so let's put him on manual. He'll roll up. That leaves one opening for the pickup guys to come unload. Oh, thanks, Saturn. Yeah, this is a... Uh... There me, that's me. All right, destination full, that's fine. So... Uh, so this is one pickup location that's not full. And is that because this one's not set up correctly? Oh, that's why. Okay. All right. There we go. Strapping young man. Thank you. You're making me blush. Um, I was 20 years old in that picture, so that was 40 years ago. All right, I'm gonna say, I think plastic is fixed. We're gonna come back and revisit this. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Oh. The only time I ever feel old, I'll be honest with you guys, it's a couple of my joints. My left knee, which never used to cause a problem until, what was it, three Thanksgivings ago, I had a car accident. Um, I ended up scraping hey, my head a little bit. Look at that. Hey, Digital Wolf in there with the 51 month resub. Digital, thank you so much for that. I I impacted my chest, so the the uh what do you the the um the what, what what's it called? The um Um the explodey thing that's supposed to prevent you from mashing your head. Uh that did not deploy. It missed whatever, just by the way I hit on my bumper, I just missed the sensor or the contact or whatever. So my chest impacted on the steering wheel. So for the airbag, thank you, Digital. So my chest impacted on the, the steering wheel and for about a week, I had this really purple, gross yellow bruise right here. But everything is fine except for my left knee. And I think what happened is I stiffened my leg before impact, so when I have a busy day of walking, not walking, but like if I mow the lawn front and back, if I do a lot of stuff, the next day it aches a little bit. So I just take some leave and everything's fine. So, so it would be my left knee and my left elbow. Yeah. All right, so it looks like plastic is flowing pretty well. I sure would like to see trains. Let's see, waiting to be filled up, waiting behind someone, waiting to be filled. Oops. Oops. Waiting behind someone. Okay, so we're good. Everyone's filling up. 
I have empty containers though. All right, so we're gonna leave this alone for a while. So the factory's running. I'm not doing any research, so we're gonna give some time for this to kind of uh, saturate. And the plastic's being consumed for red circuits and um, right, so we're pulling four off, actually five, because I have one science that uses plastic. All right. So I guess what I could do here, oh, no, wait. So let's go over to the rocket. Oh, all right. So before I go, I know what the problem is. I need to do basically the same thing for solid fuel. So land and solid fuel. Yes, I have one. Sweet. Now this doesn't require coal. It just comes off of uh, petroleum. All right. So let's make the stuff we need to do this. Um, so I need three. One, two, three. And I need five, ten... 15, 16, 17. I need six of those. Do, 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 do. Got those. I need nine of those. Then we need, um, How many do I have? 100, 203. That's a weird number. All right. There. Yes, I'll need that. Back to what I was looking at. Um, no, not plastic. No. I made those, made those. I have those. I need uh, seven and one. Five. 10, 5, 10. All right. So anyways, that's the only time I really feel old. Now, if I get sick, I hate to say this. If I get a head cold or a cold or a cough, um, I don't want to do anything, but just have a, 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 a binging series of something on with a, a glass of orange juice and, and, and Kleenex. Alex says I turned into a very large baby. I don't believe her. We'll have to test out the next time. Because I don't want to get up. So if I run out of orange juice, I go, Alex, I'm the orange juice. I do that. Isn't that what you're supposed to do? Maybe. All right. All right, so we have to find, while we're waiting for all this stuff, um, another oil spot. Ooh. I don't know if that's good enough, though. That's 6,000. 16,000? Wow, so we could run, we can do some landfill. Now I guess we could just actually come over. Yeah, that'll work. So we can bring a train, come down here. We're gonna have to uh, do some, uh, um, hang on, map, there we go. Pollution, all right. That's causing pollution, but I don't see it in a, uh, Annoying anyone. We haven't done enough scouting over here, but I do see uh, some bad guys right there. All right, so let's get some more track. Let's increase this by a hundred. Um, oh, we need, um, okay. If we're gonna go down to this thing right here, we could always tie that one in too. Let's just start with this one. So one, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fifty, fifty, six, seven, seven, eight, 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 he drills. Well, let's just do this. Let's request pump jacks. 
And let's say I need 30. I don't have them being made. So. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Oops. Although, let me tell you, I had some success. I tried my uh, hand at some of that meal prepping. I'm a big breakfast fan. I love breakfast, whether it's a bowl of oatmeal, if it's really cold in the morning, bacon and eggs, sausage, you know, I'm a breakfast guy. So I decided one morning, I think it was Tuesday, I wanted to try to prep some breakfast burritos. So flour tortilla with some scrambled eggs, um, fried potatoes. So, you know, cut up potatoes, add a little oil, salt and pepper, some garlic powder, some Italian seasoning, put it in the air fryer, cook them, put that on top of the um, scrambled eggs and some uh, grated cheese, roll them up, uh, put them in a frying pan for like three minutes on each side and freeze them. So this morning I pulled one of them out, microwaved it on, uh, Two minutes on each side and um not bad in the center it was not hot but it was warm the ends were very warm so i think 30 more seconds and then use a knife and eat it knife and fork or something like that should be just fine So let's see here. We are going to, um, from here, we're going to hang and then outside this water, we're going to come straight down, put a refinery, train tracks, pump jacks. I need 30, I think. So, uh, I got 28, 30. Okay. Let's get restocked. I don't have any room for anything else. Okay, here we go. Oh wait, before I leave. How's plastic doing? Oh, it's not doing that well. All right. So where do I need to fly to? I need to fly Wow. Okay, so let's go all the way southeast. So this is solid fuel for the rockets. All right, am I, uh, where am I at? Okay, so now we just go south ish i think i put a band-aid on the plastic i'm gonna all this, all it's doing it's trying to uh catch up with the mall right now yeah, that's batteries okay this is it Ouch, itch, itch, itch. All right, I'm fine. I'm fine, I'm fine, it's good. And touchdown. All right, here we go. So if we do this, wait past the water, come down, that'll work. Excellent, excellent. I like when a plan comes together. Oh, that was scary. No, not that one. I did not bring enough of those.
You just referenced A team. Did I really? Awesome. Tell you what, that's not a series I watched growing up. I don't know why. That should work. Oh, I like it when a plan comes together. Gotcha. I think if it's more of a spur on, um, that's going to be in the way. Can I do any landfill? Need to find some stone. Okay, there's some stone. And here somewhere. Uh, landfill. Oh, that's gonna go slow. Hey, look Whoa, at that. Whoa, FX editor, dude, dropping in with 10 gifted subs to the community. Dude, thank you so much hey, for that, man. Look at that. That was awesome. I don't know hey, what to say, FX Editor. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. I appreciate that so much. So <clears throat> those went out to Landlord132, hey, Fish Heads, Intrex, Bit Wraith Hunter, Discount Engineer, Lord Fuzzy Nuts. <laughs> sorry. Hey, reach Mill or Reach Me. Sorry, Reach Me. Moving to Pluto, Steel Sharken, Harvey UK. Hey. Awesome. Thank you so much for that, man. I, I, I appreciate that. That was awesome. Hey, look at that. Okay, that's going to do that a couple more times. Hey, look at that. Hey, look at that. All right, so I need to... Hey. Look We're right that. on the edge here. That's scary. Hey, look at that. All right, so... Um, it looks like actually what I should do here... I need to go over one more. Why, why won't we undo? weird oh i see there we go there we go okay now i think that's gonna work out better yeah absolutely fx editor thank you so much man i appreciate the support All right. All right, let's take a little stroll down the path here. Clear out some of this lumber. So anyways, continuing on the weekend. So uh, when Alex gets back from the craft fair with Alex Jr. and her mom, we are going to pull the storm windows off where the dining room is and clean those uh, inside out real good because they're not gross, uh, but they're a little dingy. They just need to be cleaned. They haven't been cleaned in 50 years. So because we're going to be sitting there this Thanksgiving eating, so it'd be nice to look out a window and not see cobwebs or something. Um, and then we have uh, the TV to get um, mounted up on the wall. I got, I got itch. It's a good laugh. It sure is. I think this is, is this going to bring me down? 
Looks like I'm going to split both of those oils. Nice. So how am I doing the clearing of trees? These are uh, nanobot, termite nanobots. So yes, I'm destroying the filtering of my pollution, but it's a lot better than collecting the lumber, running out of inventory. And yes, I know you can put it into a crate and shoot the crate. So I'm doing like an advanced scouting recon here, trying to clear the path where I'm gonna put the tracks. All right, here's the oil on one side. Nice. All right. So let's get to uh, playing some track here. why I didn't have any. Alright, so let's get this oil situated. Um, I guess we can put the refinery just right up here. Because we have water over here, so if we go refinery, 
solid fuel put the refineries at this end Okay, let's draw the power. Um, whoops. Hang on a sec. All right, so the oil. to make one of those. Oh, it's, all right, it's gonna take a little time. some uh, power going on up here. We're missing, what are we missing here? Four? Right. I gotta wait for all my, I guess I don't have to wait for all of them. Some. Um... Oh, jeez. So, solid fuel, right? We're making. Oh, we're missing. Oh, I can't see what's going on. There's so many trees in here. Um. Um. Yeah, it's gonna be slow going here. Then we're gonna need uh, a train to, uh, I need that battery or these. Oh, I need the solid fuel. Yeah. That is, oh, geez. Right here. Wait, do I still have that? Oh, look at that. Oh no, that doesn't work. All right, so what we need to do is put down a loading. 
I feel like we put it right. Can't put it there, that gets in the way. So we put it right. That's what I'm doing. Do this. But want to chop this up and put this in its place. for all that to finish. That didn't work very well. One sec. All right, let's uh, cancel some of these again. Oh, I didn't want to cancel all that. Oh, the network's not quite complete. All right, so. Need seven, five, six, seven. Now this should be part of the network, so. Okay. We're gonna have to go start launching rockets. Sorry, I'm distracted. My, my ring alerts keep going on because squirrels are doing something on the back, on the back there, so. Uh, So these are getting solid fuel. All right. I need to get this all kind of blinged up here. So crude's filling up. That's good. And we're still having a little trouble. So if I get this all decked out, let's see. Um, uh, let's see here. Let's get out of Oh, I need to. Um, I'm, I'm kind of all over the place here. So if we go over here and uh, don't need those or those, I do that. All right, so let's go turn on the rocket launches.
we might have to add a couple more trains. This is plastic. You can wait. Wait. Okay. All right. All right, so here we go. We want to say launch. There you go. There they go. All right, and then the science is coming down the pipe here. And I think we have a train waiting. We do. All right. Each one of these has got 16k because the next upgrade I want to do is 32k so let's take the train um, and go unload all this that way we can check up on the plastic start our research Didn't get out of the train in time. Okay, all the science labs are firing off. That's good. I see plastic down to here. Plastic there. Plastic there. Plastic. Oh, so cool. Do we have trains waiting? No, we don't. Darn it. We don't. All right, let's check in on the trains. So this one, almost full. So let's send you unload. That one's all by himself, almost full. So we'll send you to unload.
All right. I think that's going to be rough. All right. So from the map, can we look at rocket launches? Can. There's the solid fuel. I need to put a... Uh, yeah, we got one train. No, yeah, one train unloading. That's not good. All right, so let's um make a couple of these. Turn that on. Um, all right, so we put up, we put a brand new plastic, a giant refinery down here for plastic collection. And, um, the problem is, is that our demand of plastic, I think is so darn great. It's hard to keep up. So I'm just gonna let it run its course here. I'm gonna fly over to the rockets which are now launching, by the way. So my goal here is to have eight rockets launching whenever they're ready to launch. Doesn't sound too hard. Problem I'm running into is the solid fuel feed keeps running dry. So we just added another solid fuel. Right, so here we are. This should be, so here's our solid fuels. Oh, there's two trains waiting. Nice, actually three trains. I just couldn't see what was going on. So I want to drop that there so that I can see what's going on remotely. All right, so as, as we look here, we have consistent hopper is having a little hiccup there. I'm not worried about that. Nope, looks like everything is working as it should. We have a, two blue trains waiting. We have one red waiting, two greens waiting. All right. The uh, local resources will have to change. What I mean by that is right now, um, the copper, actually the raw copper is being brought. So everything's smelted on site. So where these guys are picking up the copper from, wherever that is, will have to uh, be like, we have a couple spots up here. Um, I fixed the, uh, the initial copper problem I was having here, I fixed. Um, problem I ran into is I couldn't keep the copper coming in. So what I did is I added another um, smelting. So I have a direct copper feed here and here, and I'm merging all that to this smelting, but I added another smelting here too. So we have two sources of copper being merged with... Uh, uh, a drop-off locations. And then these are all smelted and nice and solid all the way up to their pickup locations. And that finally fixed that. So if we look over here, this is all just for making circuits. And of course, uh, they need sulfuric acid. So I see constant stream of resources in which is good. Red is a problem because we're going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and splitting it into eight. 
So I need four that comes down here that gets split to eight. So it's a, a what, a two to one split. And the other four come over uh, uh, for a direct feed to our blues. So. So far it hasn't caused a problem. Yeah, it just doesn't look very good. So, um, does that mean I've solved the problem? I don't know. We're going to let this run. Everything's set to automatic. These things are running and they're all bling and plimp. Oh, you know what? Wait, the, the solid fuel we just established needs to have some stuff. So let's, uh, let's go back and uh, stock up on some stuff, get rid of some stuff. Uh, all right, so let's go for a ride and bring over some science. So let's hop out of here. Let's go up here and clean up all these dead. Um, yeah, pick up all these. There we go, nice and cleaned up. Okay, I see plastic, that looks good. Plastic is good. Um, all right. I see plastic all the way through. And a train dropping off. All right, sweet. All right, let's, um, what do I need to get rid of here? I need to get rid of those, those. I need four more of those. Then we'll get restocked on that. Then, um... On the solid fuel, we need 50, 160, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Hang on. There we go. We need that. And we need. Okay, that worked. For that. All right, so let's go finish getting the um, new solid fuel all jacked in. So I've never had, like I said before, I've never had eight rock. Oh, you know what? Ooh, 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 ooh. I just had an epiphany. Epiphany, epiphany, not a fee. Um, I'm generating more pollution in an area that I have not done my due diligence. Yeah, so, uh, okay, I, I think that's gonna be okay, but I would rather have a nice, nicer buffer around this. So we're gonna have to get the guys. You know what that means, the guys. I'm gonna go, uh, do a little hunting. Am I even going the right way? Where am I at? There, yeah, I'm, I'm good. There we go. And, nope, that's not what I want. That one. Here we go. New rail system. And let's land. And here we go. Now, 
Now what that's going to do is we're dropping production modules in those that produce things, putting beacons with speed modules around them to help improve their production of stuff. But it's a power drain, but we have 287 gigajoules and we are generating we can we have the, the capability during the day to generate 4.1 gigawatts. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Gigawatts. So we need to get a train out here. And uh or we just put one ourselves. There we go. A little fuel in there. And uh, then what we do is we add a station and we say refuel first. Then we want to drop us this off at the rocket launchers, which is right here. Wait for empty cargo. Then we want to fill up again. Bring it all the way back to there. Wait, full cargo. All right. So. A little slow going. I wonder why. We have the petroleum, which is going down. These guys are cranking out as much as they can, as fast as they can. You guys just supply and demand. Oh, is this one set up for two? It is? Sweet. Let's put him on automatic. Now what we can do, we can actually set up another one here with the logistics network drawing. Ooh, that's actually a pretty good idea. Yep, it's a good idea. All right, let's clear the shrubbery around here. And I'm going to need how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Can I make 18? I, I can. 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. All right. I think before we add, get this one in full swing, I'm going to get the guys down here. Oh, I got something that's not very happy. That's fixed. All right. Um, I'm going to bring the construction crew, which is also my muscle down here and uh all right i'm gonna take a little bio break because i need to so i'm gonna put this up and get that going for you guys little green game so to say i'll be right back
Alrighty, I'm back. All right, nice work, guys. Nice, 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 nice. Let me go ahead and uh, clear that out. Um, we go back to the game. All right, hang on one sec, guys. One quick sec. Gotta look something up real quick, real super quick. Should be. Uh, if I type that, is that gonna find me? Uh, no. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe. No. So what if I type in that? Yes. Here we go. Uh. And then I do this. Uh, itchy. All right. I am back. We got our crew. Um, let's go clear out some shrubbery here. Now, if if we do the refinery right here, we could probably tie it in with the network there too. So let's see here. Let's do this. I let all those guys. All right, let's get some. Um, so I want to put the refinery. That wrong, didn't I? Uh, I wonder if I could uh, squeeze refinery in. Let's see here. So we need another solid fuel refinery. Oh, okay, that fits nice. So, yeah, we could do this um, right here. Uh, let's see here. I need one, two, three. Oh, I don't have enough pipe. So hang on, let's cancel that. Get that one going. Let's make whole bunch of this stuff. Oh, all right. Two more. One, two. Nice. Then I need um, seventeen. Made a mistake, sorry. So let's see here. Am I gonna have enough pipe? I should, so I need to make five, 10, 15, 16, 17. All right.
Uh, let's see here. Can I get power so I can start pumping oil? Score. And then the refineries are up here. So, and the oil is sitting right here. And if we store the oil, let's see here, let's make one of those and way over here, way over here. up cancel those so i can get this going dang it all right i want to store there we go aren't these guys pumping full huh they should so, fifty percent. Something not connected here. Oh, that's full. All right, never mind. All right, so let's um. All right, that get oh. Then the water, like one of those, is right here. Dang it. I'm not going to make it. I don't think so. Let's see if I can come over to here, but this into place, maybe there. All right. Huh. Can I get lucky enough? I might. but I don't have enough to make. Dang. Oh, look at that. Just squeaked it in. Score. All right. So we need, oh, I don't have enough stuff. All right, so I gotta go back and get more stuff. Oh, wait a minute, wait, 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 where are we at? We can actually, instead of going all the way back there, which would be the smart move. All right. Um, 
Um. All right, let's do it. Let's do the smart thing. <sighs> well, yeah, this would be good because we can check in on the plastics how it's doing. So one of my personal challenges for this was no nuclear power. The next time I play, I'm going to use nuclear power. It's it's interesting how well solar works. All right, so how solid fuel? Solid fuel is solid. Nice. All right. Wait. So while I'm here, is there any shortage of anything? Copper seems to do that every single time right through here, and I don't know why. Oh, because we're feeding off. Okay. All right. Ooh. Oh, we're missing beacons here. That's right. Okay. Okay. All right. I can fix that. Looks like we're golden. Sort of. All right. So let's go up front, up top, up north. Let's go pick up some stuff. And... Ah... <sighs> How are we doing on fuel? Plenty of fuel. Oh, yeah. See how plastic's doing. Touchdown. Touch down. Plastic. Nice. Oh, such a good fix. I like that. All right. Come over here. Get restocked on this stuff. Um, so if we take a look at one of the furnace setups it needs one two three four five, six, six. So i need 12 plus whatever i take over for this so 62 beacons 10 20 30 40 50 62 all right then we need um Need a hundred, and then we need. So I need. Um, how many was that? I forgot. One, two, three, four. So I need 24 on top of that. There we go. All right. So we need 60. All right, that takes care of that. Now, we left it incomplete, so the pipe should be covered. It's going to be, um, let's get these made while I'm here. Five, six, well, that was 10 actually. And then we are short how many I can't see. Oh, here we go. Um, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so we'll say 10. 10. And we need, um, Six. All right, so let's see here. Let's start. So I need 10 of those. 10. Got those covered. Five, 10. Five, 10. Five, 10. More restock. Oh, wait. I don't need those anymore. Um, for all this to get finished to see how much room I'm going to have left. 
Not a whole lot. Let me get rid of those. I can dial these back to 500. Go. All right, good. So what do we got down here? So we'll add some more logistics bots to the network down there. And we're good. We're good. All right. First, let's head over to the rockets. And we that one copper's missing some beacons and modules. We picked up enough for that. And we'll go down and finish the solid fuel. Uh, and then that that's going to tie in with the pre-existing network. We'll have to do a little finagling. Where am I? Uh oh, I went too far. So this should help out. So all these have got beacons and speed modules except for here because I originally ran this through here, but it was causing that problem. So if we do this, then we should see instead of this being all checkered like that, should start filling in, being solid. Look at that. that filled up nicely and then this should eventually saturate I think all right that's off all right let's head back this other solid fuel get that all looped in then we'll go uh do a little uh fighter patrol should be interesting Troll, listen to me. Oh yeah, I'm a seasoned biter uh, hunter. Yeah, they they run when they hear me. Not really, they run out. All right. So now we can let loose with the bots. And okay, we're gonna do that. All right, so now tie this in. We need to um, copy this. We want to put it. All right, that'll work better. There we go. And we can drop these guys in there. And what the problem is, is a train. <laughs> so right now, um, these guys right here are at the pickup, pickup. Um, all right, so let's go to launchers. And we got, oh, all right. So these are waiting for train. Oh, there's a train right there. Nice. So, can I add a train without getting in, without messing things up? That worked nicely. I'm impressed. Oh, all right. I'm gonna go over here and charge. Give you guys another charging station. Oh, uh, 
One, two, three, four. There we go. Let's, uh, turn those off. Let's make sure these guys have got some ammo. They do. All right. So, where do we want to go to first? Let's, um, yeah, this is going to cause too much pollution down here. So, we're going to go do some patrolling. Um,. So let me hop out real quick. Swap to those. Boy, if we get in trouble, I can repair those that guys on too. Oh, wait, do I have repair doohickey thingamabobbers? Those. I have a few. A few more. There we go. Alrighty. Check us out. We're in an unexplored territory. It's kind of exciting and dangerous all at once. Um, all right, so let's do, let's figure out a pattern here. All right, so let's uh, start on this side, go up, complete our, I have a little, oh geez, I have a little uh, thing here. So we're going to go through this. There we go. There we go. Let's see if I remember how to do this. Yes, yes, trained killers. Something like that. Um, over a little bit more. Oh. Little tiny outpost. That's right. Oh, hey, my robots are about to upgrade. Come on. One more percent. Yay. Now. Does this apply to rockets? No. Is, oh, that one does. That gives us 50% more. Yes, please. Because I don't think I do enough damage as it is. All right, a little bit more. And a little more. I'm just trying to line up this with that. And that looks like that's pretty darn close. Oh, all right. Well, hello. Hi. Excellent. You know, when I first started playing this game and you had the bad guys mixed in with trees, oh, M, G, was that difficult to, uh, to manage, you know? Because they... They blended in with the trees. You couldn't tell if you're targeting a bad guy or a tree. It, it was terrible. Horrible. Nightmares. Blah, blah, blah. All right. We are. Oh, okay. I didn't even see that coming. Not really. So, let's go around this. Oh, bad guy. Now, am I sporting uh, force fields? I do. I got a couple force fields. Oh, you know what I could do? Whoa. That was frightening. There we go. Excellent. Now, that's a thousand. That's two thousand. Let's do that. 
Then we'll do that. Right. Oh. These are my upgraded missiles. You guys tell me how they feel. Okie dokie. All right, then we can just kind of uh, come over here. Oh, all right. Looks like we got our work cut out for us here. All right, so let's just go up here and kind of... Yeah. So it looks like we did it. All right, so now we just uh, check out this. Then we'll come down here and then cut across. And yeah, that works. I think. Trying to go swimming. Hang on. There you go. Didn't, did not want them to feel left out. Why did that? <sighs> oh, oh, this is weird. Oh, force field took a hit. There we go. <clears throat> Couple of good old boys hanging out right there. Sorry. All right, let's check ammo here. We are looking good. landmass you will not stop my spider tron oh here we go So by going out and doing this, we're going to guarantee that our, what I call the pollution perimeter is uh, not going to agitate anyone. So this should never grow beyond that because it's running full time, whatever it's doing. Um, we added that and this, so that's extended this a little bit. That's why I'm going through this and I'll, then I'll come over here, clean this up, walk over here and get that all matched up. But it gives a chance also for everything to do what it needs to do. Do oh, I said, um, and um, then we can go check and see if solid fuel is a problem. If uh, if we can run this for say an hour real time, 
I think it's gonna be fixed, and then my mission is accomplished. Probably not the most efficient way of doing it. It's the only way I can figure it out. Oh, I like this game. Nothing has to be done the same way. There's right ways, and then there's the ways you know how to do it. And it's not really a wrong way. Oh, that was scary. All right. What's up, Saturn? Doo doo. I know, I said doo doo. Oh, there's someone hiding. Yeah. big chunk of darkness so alex and i finished the walking dead ended on a happy note so we thought and then we uh we're on our second episode of dead city which is negan and maggie um the uh she asked the question to negan about his relationship never got answered and um if you ever followed The Walking Dead, Maggie was kind of the... She was running one of the communities called Hilltop, and um, we, we haven't really found out about that, and I don't, I don't know if we ever will. Oh, okay. Here we go. And uh, so they've gone from... You know, being in Virginia and Georgia and all that, now they're in Manhattan. So. And they introduced, instead of just having these mindless, totally mindless zombies that just walk around and only get attracted towards light and sound, Evidently, there's a variant that's been introduced that can climb, figure out door handles, and I don't know if they can use them, but they'll grab things like rocks, bricks, and use them. I don't know if it's a mutation, advancement, or just like maybe I don't know, whoever might have been infected and died, maybe they had more active synapses and some some of it retained or, or some I don't know. They haven't explained it. I should probably look that up. Alright, so let's see here. Let's go this way. think yep now we just want to go south and we'll skirt along this body of water whoa okay um no we're gonna have to uh go take care of these guys Go down more. All right, then if we get down to about here and then come across, that will do nicely. Oh, well, we can get across. And. Oh, all right. 
was not actively checking my mini map, which is something I need to do. See the ma red mass is uh, popping up. And there. All right. So in order to watch these new Walking Dead series, we're uh, getting rid of Netflix because we mainly were keeping it for The Walking Dead. Um, and we picked up AMC Plus so we can watch the Dead City and Daryl's got his own, which uh, it's been revealed that Carol will be in season two. I don't know how much, but yeah. And then of course there's the new one that's got um, uh, Rick Grimes and Michonne. So they've taken one big Walking Dead series and they have some spin offs, whether they're, they're all going to be successful or not. There's also a couple of, uh, uh, it's like one that's got kids. Not that they're running everything, it's just it focuses more on, you know, teenagers and whatnot. All right, so we want to cut all the way across up to there. All right. Whoa. Hey, guys. How are you guys doing? Excellent. We got a ways to go. Right. Oh, look at that poor guy. Here you go. You have a nice day. <laughs> that was cruel. All right, ammo check. Okay. All righty. Yeah, I stepped in some. Almost there. Perfect. All right. Now, yep.
All right, what I think I'm going to do is... Uh, go down here and do this little spot. I want to go get rearmed. So let's turn this off for a sec so I can see what I'm doing. Oh, uh, and there. All right. Now I'm along for the ride. Discount engineer popping in there with a big old raid. Discount, thank you so much for that. Appreciate that very much. Discount raid. No, no, I, I would pay full price for a discount for a raid from discount. RG Roger, how the heck are you doing, man? No, hola to you. Oh, I'm doing great, thanks. Yep, a lot of work is right. It's good though, it's good hard work. Almost no time, oh man, yes. I remember the days when people were, you know, wanting to work, they needed the work, you know? Discount, how the heck are you doing, Discount? Yeah, he dropped a big old bomb in there. That was awesome. You're doing a little, uh, little software stuff, huh? Little uh, engineering. Yeah, I, I don't have the I don't have the chops for for coding. All right, let's see here. Uh, let's put put this back. Oh, put this back. Oh, geez, that's full. There we go. That back that back let's get rid of that um i don't know if i need those or not i'll keep them i need to ask it what is godot Oh, oh, that was um, that was what people were thinking about going to when um, who are the idiots that were doing um? Hang on, Unity, right? So when Unity did the the stupid thing to where they were going to charge per installation of any game that used the Unity engine. Yeah, people were going to go over to Godot. Yeah. Well, cool. All right, how's plastic? Oh, cool. Plastic is solid. We have trains sitting at the station now. Oh, that's so nice. That is so cool. 
Um, look at that. We have a solid red output now. Oh, man, that makes me so happy. Excellent. Now, we've done some research, so these guys are cranking out stuff. Excellent. Do I want to try to attempt to speed up my bots one more time? Because that's a lot. <clears throat> oh, actually, that's a good one right there. So that's going to increase their output by another 10%. Ooh. Yes, please. Oh. All right. So we'll let that go. Um, then uh, let's check the map and see how solid fuel is doing. All right. Okay. Now, if we click, can I click here? Oh, I can. All right. So we have train filling up, train filling up, train filling up, one coming from refueling. All right. Hopefully this helps. All right, we're out. All right. Um, so I don't have to do anything north. No, north is good. That's okay there. We just have to go clean this up. All right, we, we can do that. Well, discount that's awesome. I mean, it's really nice to see people branching out and trying no something new. And, you know, progress is always good, right? And, and then taking that progress and trying to be uh, productive with it. I took my shot at Python and I have no idea what I was doing. I'm, I'm hoping that um, I really um, I, 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 is what I need to do is make like five big strides in the garage to get organized and and hopefully this woodworking thing because there's a lot of things I, I, I want to do. Alex Jr. needs more storage for clothes and stuff. Uh, so do we. We decided to do the... Um, we did the minimalist move sort of thing, which was actually really cool and very interesting. So, you know, we, we moved what we needed to. We're, we're not living on floors and, or anything like that, but we didn't bring over, um, we didn't bring over all the original furniture that we had before. Instead, we decided to, um, probably we're just gonna sell it. It's based on Python, but a lot, but it's a, it's a, but it, a lot of it is a nice GUI. GUI helps. Visual Basic, I thought, had a nice GUI when I was trying to learn how to do Visual Basic. So there's things that we need that can be built instead of buying them. So, like for instance, uh, our kitchen cabinets, which are very nice, um, they have, um, they have, uh, the, the the rollers uh the the roller system the rail system for the drawers are not the best and i want to take a shot at that but before i do that i have to figure out how to do it did you get your cable protectors in oh you mean for uh uh for the electrical yeah i did that's all that's all installed and we we've got a, a new circuit in the garage on the wall that didn't have any power whatsoever i hope that's what you're talking i still do VB. You love it? Nice, Saturn. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah, no, it, it worked out well. There's some pictures in Discord on the door. Oh, hang on. Oh, someone got spit on. That's gross. Um, yeah, I mean, if, uh, if I get sidetracked here, I don't mind. Let me, um, my little DIY channel. Um, yeah, here we go. So this is, uh, the whole wall is right here. There's three receptacles. So right here where this receptacle is, there was, there is a window, but we, we did some furring strips so we could get the sheetrock to be even all the way across the, uh, studs. And then where the window was or is, I put that very rigid, uh, Pink Panther foam in there, and then I covered it with a vapor barrier 
And then I also used some of that HVAC tape. So, and then we covered it up with sheetrock on the other side. I took down the storm window, I cleaned everything and the broken window, I did a better job filling it in than what was done 30, 40 years ago. And then I put the storm window back up and uh, we, we, you know, the storm window is basically a window that you open up your window and then the storm window has those little pinchy things so you can open up the window and you get a breeze. So they're, they got a real good seal around the window. So when these are closed, nothing can really, no moisture, nothing. So I, I have no real fear or concern about when it rains that anything's gonna come through, sit in there and cause any mold or anything like that. So that's there. So from the, um, let's see if I have a picture of it. Uh, oh, there's me doing the work, yay. Um, now it, it's um, right about here. So here's the in progress here. This is after we hung the sheetrock and ran the lines. But right here is our breaker box. And we just did a, uh, we drilled across and then we had to come down where the window was and then back up and then across. So we, we ran our 12-2. Uh, we had a breaker that wasn't being used. It was for the well, it was 20 amps, so perfect. So we just went through and um, put in boxes and I went through and, you know, did some wiring, which is happening right here. I used Wagos instead of wire nuts and uh, put electrical tape around all my receptacles. Tested them all, they work. In fact, this one back here, I have my my nerdy little, um, what do you call it? Um, Milwaukee head mounted lamp that's being charged. And this one has the shot back plugged into it. It's so cool not to have run extension cords all over the place. And then of course I have, I did some planing. I had to change the blades too, because look, there's little nicks in them probably from hitting a nail or a really hard piece of knot. But I got, this is old shelving that came out of the kitchen. So I got all the paint and stuff off. So it looks really nice. And then I went through and uh, made a bunch of slats out of that. So it's a, uh, you know, a work in progress. All right, where are we at? Sorry, I got sidetracked. Thanks for asking guys. Oh yeah, no, it, it was, it really was, um, you know, baby steps, right? So for me to have to do any sort of woodworking, as I am loosely trying to say it, I need, I need power. <laughs> I need the tools. I have pretty much all the tools I need, uh, but I need to be able to use them. And by doing all this casters and, and workbench setup and stuff like that, it makes it much more, um, the workflow makes it uh, makes it a lot easier. Yes, yes. It's getting there, it's getting there. Um, all the electrical, I get advice from, uh, you've, you guys seen him in chat, Flip. Um, his whole family are electricians. His, his older brothers are journeymen. I don't know what state, but you know, they know their stuff. He. Flip does a lot of residential stuff, I think. So when I sent him a picture of, uh, of our breaker box, <laughs> he asked me uh, how old that is. And I told him it was installed in the 70s. Uh, it's, a, it's a safe, there's no risk, but the way that it was, the way that it's designed, they don't do it that way anymore. It's still acceptable. So there's, yeah, it depends upon your county if they would want you to take it out. But as what it is, there's not one main switch to throw to turn off the power. There's actually six. Um, and there were some manufacturers that made these, what do they call them? Phase, split phase, something like that. Yay. Um, that were actually very hazardous. Taking, you know, shortcuts in quality and stuff like that. So anyways, ours is a general electric. It's fine, you can still get breakers for it, but I don't think we're gonna put any money into it. Uh, probably next year, we're gonna do some serious um, calls and get some estimates to see if we can get it replaced.
and hopefully part of it is to get um what's it called a an interlink set up so that way we can have either a generator or the solar set up so when we have a power outage um, we have some little backup power um all right i guess this is the better way of doing it I mean, there's a lot of things we want to do. Like, um, Alex is very much interested in doing some, uh, what do you call them, raised grow beds so we can grow our own, like, tomatoes and other vegetables. I love vegetables. Mm. The, the shed that's on the property, it's, it's workable. It's very old. It looks like someone had either backed into it or ran into it with a farming equipment. It's got one bad corner. Um, it's got a lot of rust spots on it, like all. So eventually we want to get rid of it and might try to reuse the pad what it's on. What is your on. favorite waffle? What's my favorite waffle? Lancelot the Lion, thank you so much for that follow. I appreciate it. Uh, um, well, um, waffle. that right there, that's my favorite waffle because I made it. Race beds are so much nicer on the back. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah, yeah. I am. Um, now, we're not on well water anymore. So this is where our, I've been watching videos of people uh, in the U.S. where whatever they live, their water was outrageous. Now, they had a vegetable garden. So the guy started uh, setting up a, a water reclamation area. You know, he had a... Uh, the gutters would dump into those big blue barrels. He would collect them and send it through a filtering system. And at first he was, uh, first he experimented, just was using it to, uh, water his garden. And it was so successful that he started to put more thought and, uh, money into it. So where he could use it for doing their laundry and stuff like that. And he says that his water bill is like barely a hundred bucks a month where it was almost $400 a month. So I don't know where he lives. I don't have a green thumb. I, I'll just lift everything heavy for Alec. That's fine. My only payment is a few tomatoes. All right, let's go back up. One thing I'm very interested in doing is I don't want to say I'm frustrated, but when you try to figure out what the weather's going to be and I use AccuWeather, Google, I look at the weather channel. Of course, all these apps and services get all their information from the same source. But I don't know why one would say it's going to rain today. One says it's not. <laughs> so, I mean, it's always, you know, models and predictions. I get it, but the temperature always varies. So I wanted to set up, I think it's called an ESP32 and I want to get a sensor module. I want to get a little tiny battery that's uh, rechargeable with a little tiny solar panel. And I want to put it out so I can see what my weather is. We have maybe 40 to 50 square feet garden or water butts, you said. Um, about 700 liters of rainwater and they even run dry sometimes. Wow. What, uh, what area are you in discount? You don't know what area you're in. That's all right. Uh 
Oh, whoa, that's a lot of guys. There we go. All right, so all we have to do is clean this up because the this was an eight. I don't know what that means. I was just wondering what part of the country or or the globe. You're in region eight. I'll have to look that up. He's getting very technical with me. I'm gonna have to crack the code. Put on my decryption hat. And go all Da Vinci on him. All right, this is working out pretty darn good. Oh, I got you. I got you. All right. I'm thinking this one guy's channel I was watching. So usually, and I hate to be stereotypical, but usually how someone talks will tell you if they're from, you know, United Kingdom, Ireland, something like that. It's always usually, or even in the South of the United States. This guy did not have an accent. So I'm thinking he was in Texas or Arizona and where it's very dry. And that would tell me that their water is expensive. on me i don't like it that's better now we just all right that's good <laughs> going through a lot of missiles They were in uh, camouflage, stealth. All right, now I don't need to go down there and get these guys. I'm just worried about the dark area. Probably go up there and check that out too. So we did an experiment in our house for dinner. All this week, we've done a slightly different twist on burritos. It was very satisfying because I love burritos. So the first saw on Monday, we did a standard burrito, you know, beef, refried beans, black beans, um, cheese, sour cream, you know, just a regular old burrito. Then instead of buying the fajita mix that we were doing in our chicken quesadillas, we actually insta bought our own chicken, shredded it, added, uh, Alex added a bunch of spice to it. It was really yummy. Um, then we did what we call street burritos, which is um, again, insta pot some chicken, uh, thighs or breasts, shred it. Um, Add a cup of barbecue sauce, whatever your favorite barbecue sauce in, a little tiny can of corn, a can of black beans. You mix it up, get all nice and hot. You get a flour tortilla, you put uh, a little spread of sour cream, you put the mixture, you put some cheese, you fold it into a burrito, put it in the air fryer for uh, about two and a half minutes on each side. Street burrito. Uh, yesterday we did leftovers, leftover burritos. Uh, I had, um, refried beans, black beans, guacamole. Mm. We did raised beds the first time this year. We had some fantastic carrots, leeks, caterpillars enjoyed the Brussels sprouts. Oh, I love Brussels sprouts. 
Um, so tonight we're gonna do a copycat five beefy, five layer beefy burritos. That will end our week of burritos. That's a, uh, if, do you have any of that documented or is it in your discord or anything? I'm a large source of natural gas. I mean, I have a little methane conversion. It actually wasn't that bad, you know, I have to admit. The thing about it was, it was made at home. So it was, it was a lot tastier, a lot cheaper and very filling. But yes, long color. Oh, there's a lot of them. They're coming for me. I got to get through their, uh, their ground troops here. There we go. Oh, no, you don't. Come back here. Oh. Oh, he smacked me. Ouch. I don't know what we're going to do this coming week. Um, I know uh, we got some salmon that we're gonna cook up. And I told her, I go, hey, what about we do uh, like some uh, fish tacos? So, mm. all right, how'd we do? We got one patch of peeps here. I don't wanna go check that out. <clears throat> Where are they at? Oh, they're, okay, so let me do this so I don't get lost. I think, there we go. Hmm. All right, so this gives us uh, some breathing room <clears throat> so the pollution doesn't agitate anyone. Because this one was very south. We're gonna go up and uh, right here. You know, going out is, is nice. You know, it's a nice treat, so you don't have to cook. You don't have to do the dishes. Um, ever since we moved, we, we had access to a kitchen, but we'd always have to go downstairs. And, you know, it was... So we, we tried to do everything in an air fryer, paper plates, and stuff like that. So now the added expense of plastic ware and paper plates is gone. You know. Alex likes to cook. I like to cook. How are we doing here? Um, I think it's water mass. Let's go around this water mass, maybe. There we go. Um, got a few pics dotted about was going to be all organized and document progress, but kind of fell apart. Um, all right. Thanks. Discount. I'm, I'm, I'm interested. I know Alex wants to, uh, get a new shed built and we want to put it, uh, we have a, a really nice treadmill. And which will take up like, hey, where are you guys going? Uh, it's going to sit in the garage. And the, the pros and cons is that when it's cold outside, you're not going to be that inspired to go in a cold garage uh, and get on the treadmill. And then when it's really hot, you're not going to want to go in a hot garage and get on the treadmill. So I said, well, what if we build a shed and get a mini split for it? Or even just a, a little um, 
wall AC unit that can do heat and stuff like that and insulate it and stuff. She goes, okay, so and then we can put it right on the side of the house where the garage is. Whoa, trying to spit on me. All right. Oh, holy shnikey. I need to I need to get all this garage stuff pretty much squared away before it gets too darn cold. Otherwise I'm gonna have to start wearing pants. What? You know. Long pants. Alright, I think. Yeah, I don't have to go all the way over there. We're done. We are done with that. So let's turn this off. Let's head back home. Um, all right, so while we're hightailing it. Oh, look at this. Plastic is fixed because, oh, wait a minute. So we were doing research. We did. Um, that's a big chunk of research there. All right, so research, the factory's going. So I'm going to, um, we're going to 7,500. We're going to do that. Then let's go over here and check out the rockets. Solid fuel is solid. We're still getting a little pepper activity here. It's not as bad, but what I see is a constant flow of resources. That's good. Let's go over and check the circuits, which are uh, right here. Nice. Very good. Plastic was a problem over here. It looks like we got that fixed. This is also plastic. Oh, this looks nice. Took a lot of time though. Sure did. I think, I think it, it's, it's working. So the goal of this was to be able to, um, so I, I know that a lot of Factorio uh, uh, efficient, they, they call it science per minute, so SPM. So I don't know how much science per minute I'm doing. I think they measure it on the space science, but um. I don't know how long it takes for each rocket to actually launch, but um, they're all all uh, upgraded and stuff like that. So that's interesting. All right, so, huh. Well, I have to say I'm actually pretty, pretty happy with this. Where's that one? 
No, it's not that. Where's the one? It has to be up here somewhere. I'm missing a... Is it in the power? I don't know how to check that. Um, if it's in the power... No, they have that, so it can't be in the power. It's got to be somewhere. Hang on. Where's that missing? That's a... It's a drill that needs to be yanked. Oh, it's right here. All right. There it is. There we go. Fix that. Not needed. And the problem here is I, I my uh, template has got the, what do you call it? The uh, hazard concrete. Oh. All right. I think that was a mission success. We we had a problem. Hang on. Let me do something here. Let's get this tidied up a little bit. Oh, get out of the way. I'm probably going to have to do this myself. And let's find some concrete. Oh, geez, no. Yeah, so uh, starting uh, the stream today, we had a problem with plastic. Looks like we've actually uh, fixed that. So we're researching, which means uh, the labs are on. These are replacing the science that's coming out of the buffer boxes. So our science should be staying nice and solid all the way through. And I got some really great advice I never thought about, but I put productivity modules inside here so they would produce more science. And then I sped them, I, the best I could, I, I sped them up with beacons. So, yeah. Um... This is where I'm weak at, is trying to get these things to operate faster. I'm gonna have to learn how to make my own. These are blueprints of someone else's. I think that, that will conclude it, guys. I think, I don't think there's anything else I need to do on this. Um, I mean, eventually, yes, I will run out of resources, but I think this was a successful factorio playthrough and i think that's where we're going to leave it today so monday i might be on jury duty so i don't know i'm up for grab so uh follow me on twitter or discord and find out sunday i gotta check in about 5 45 gotta make a phone call and see if i'm actually gonna go if i'm not i'll be here if not i won't be here it's that simple discount again thank you for the raid appreciate that very much uh, Digital, thank you for the resub. 51 months. Really appreciate that. Editor, thank you for the 10 gifted subs also. So, uh, discount. Saturn, we'll see you guys later. Let's go and roll some credits here. Hopefully this works. I've been having some problems with my credits lately. That looks like it's working. Yeah, yeah. Crazy people with gifted subs. Look at that. Editor, crazy. Uh, Mucky also thanks for the raid. All right, guys, I'm out of here. I'll see you guys maybe on, oh, definitely on Sunday, but we'll see what happens. All right, you guys have a good one.